So if you're struggling with extracting information from PDFs for your retrieval augmented generation systems, or RAG, then you might want to look into vision models to do that for you. So vision models help a lot when you're looking at PDFs that have tables and charts and uh, columns and rows because traditional libraries like PyPDF just don't cut it. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do it two ways. One, I'm going to show you how to do uh, very simple uh, PDF extraction and Im image extraction using Google AI Studio uh, Gemini 2.0 Flash. And second, I want to show you my favorite way to do it, which is through this tool called Vectorize. So Vectorize has the entire rack pipeline set up for you. And whatever you extract using this new tool that they have called Iris, that is automatically extracted and become part of your retrieval system. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to show you how to do that in Google uh, AI Studio, and we're going to be using Gemini 2.0 Flash which is just came out a couple of days ago out of uh, experimental. So now this model is GA, and this is a great model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in the same PDF that I was just showing you here, which has um, text, not only text, but also a table and some formula in the middle here. And what I'm hoping to see is uh, a table in a proper markdown format and the formula being in you know, a proper relationship to one another. So as you can see, the table is actually proper markdown format. And the formula also is not broken. This is great. Um, here's the problem, though. When you set this up, you're going to have to set up a couple things, especially with uh, Google deprecating the uh, Gemini API SDK and, now, and, and the Vertex SDK, and now going with this other uh, SDK that they were just, uh, started recently. Um, it could be a hassle, especially if you want to like bootstrap this up and run quickly. And as you can see in this code here, you're going to have to handle uploading file to Gemini, which is the PDF. Not only that, you're going to have to prompt tune, tune the prompt for the model to be able to extract uh, text in the way that you want, because this is a pretty small use case, but what if you have like a thousand pages of PDF? And then there's going to be edge cases that you don't want to deal with. So that's why I want to show you the second way to do this, which, which is with uh, Vectorize. So Vectorize allows you to just build uh, RAG systems that is complete end-to-end, -end, and then your application can just call an endpoint and have the entire retrieval um, system taken care of, from uploading documents to uh, querying. So here I'm going to click on New RAG Pipeline, and here is the view for the RAG Pipeline uh, Builder and first, we're going to start with source. I'm going to choose a source. And the cool thing about Vectorize is that you can choose anything from like Amazon S3 to Discord to web crawling, so you can point this at a website. But today, we're going to go with a file upload, which is uh, uploading a file. And I have my old uh, files upload here that I tested, but I'm just going to go with a new one here. I'm just going to say uh, financial accounting test. And then I'm going to upload the file up here. And then confirm selection. And now we're going to move on to the more important part, which is the extractor and chunker. So this is where Iris comes in. So Iris is this new technology that allows them to use a fine-tuned vision model to do extraction on your PDF. So this is a bit better than using an off-the-shelf model like Gemini 2.0 because this model is more fine-tuned, it can handle edge cases better, and you're going to get that 5 to 10% uh, at the top that you probably won't get with an off-the-shelf model like GPT-40. So from here, I'm just going to choose Vectorize Iris, and you can read the inst instruction right here that says fine-tuned vision model for advanced extraction, $0.015 per page. And when you calculate this against something like AWS Text Extract, it's much more affordable and much easier to set up. So I'm just going to leave my chunk size at default and then go to Embedder. This is where you choose your embedding uh, model. And I'm just going to go with uh, V3 Small. And then Vectorize has built-in uh, database or vector database now. Um, so I'm just going to go with the one that's built in. As you can see, now your entire RAG pipeline is already set up. You don't have to worry about anything other than 
um, where to get your files and choosing the right options for each. And this could have saved me a ton of time uh, without having to go into the code for uh, Google AI Gemini SDK and then set everything up, plus setting up my vector database, maybe it's Pinecone, then I have to install Pinecone SDK and stuff like that. Um, the cool thing about Vectorize is that you can set up your pipeline to point at a source and then update itself automatically every once in a while. So it could be every day, every couple hours, every week, every minute. Uh, or listening for a change from the source if you have like S3 uh, event change set up. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to set it up to manual because I don't want to burn all my credits. And then I'm going to set up this pipeline. And we're just going to wait for a couple seconds. Okay, so it seems like my pipeline has been set up. And I can tell that you know my document has been vectorized or embedded. And there's a number here that says so. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, Rack Sandbox, which is a feature that allows me to test asking questions against my PDF. So how do we know that you know the PDF has been extracted properly? We can ask it. So here, let me just go check out this table real quick. I'm going to look at this table here. It says charts of accounts, partial, and there's a column called expenses. I just want to know if I can ask about this. So I'm just going to go back here and say, what are under the expenses column? And the cool thing about this rack sandbox is that it's basically a way for you to like quickly test whether or not your um, document, your source, has been vectorized and embedded properly. And it can actually work with a retrieval augmented generation query. Um, so here we can see like the retrieve context is basically the part that has the table in it. And then now here's the answer, which the platform uses Llama 3.370b, but you can choose anything from you know GPT-40 to any Llama models, which I believe is powered by, uh, it's from the Grog API. So as you can see here, we have the columns here include uh, wages expense, rent expense, blah, 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 and miscellaneous expense. Let me just go take a look at my PDF real quick. That's pretty much uh, everything that we need. So now um, we know for a fact that this works. Um, I just want to show you this new, this other feature that you can use to kind of test um, this extractor called Iris. So here you're going to click on extraction. And now you're in the screen. You're going to choose vectorize Iris here and then drag in the PDF the same way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on Extract. And then we're going to go to Markdown. And now we're just going to take a look and see, like, oh, under the hood, exactly how did Iris extract information from the PDF. OK, great. So we got back this clean Markdown of the PDF and with the table in the right format, everything like that. So it's super reliable. Um, now let's go back to the pipeline real quick. I want to show you the last step of the entire process, which is you get to connect, and then you set up your access token, and then you can have this retrieval endpoint, which is basically the gateway to your retrieval system. So everything has been set up for you on Vectorize, including your vector database, your embeddings, your source files, and you know if you set it up to crawl the source or update the source once in a while, that schedule, scheduler is also set up. All you have to do is hit this endpoint right here. Um, and there are examples that you can use. So for example, you can hit use curl commands, or you can use JavaScript, Python. My favorite is this chatbot starter template which is basically a chatbot template that is Next.js and uses the AI SDK from Russell. So if, if you're a TypeScript developer, if you're using Next.js, you definitely should check this out. So just click on Download Chatbot Zip. And then once you download it, you're going to go and install all the dependencies. And then what you're going to have is a really nice kind of like bootstrap kind of uh, template here that you can use for whatever project you need. And then what you can do is you can actually try it. So I'm going to go to my terminal here, and then I'm going to say um, pnpm dev, which will start my server. OK, so now we can ask the same questions. What are under the expenses column?
Okay, seems like it's working. So it took less than five minutes to set up your retrieval pipeline with PDF extraction that works flawlessly using a fine-tuned vision model that's way better than the off-the-shelf models that can take care of your uh, edge cases for you. So you can reliably deploy this into production. So give it a shot. The feature is called Iris. You can either set up this manually or you can use Vectorize. So thanks for watching.